assalamu alaikum i welcome all of you to the modern approach to the concept of chemistry today we will be studying that why electrons exist uh, at fixed energy levels and they do not uh, exist between the those energy levels just like why electrons are present uh, in uh, s orbital p and p orbitals and not in between them so our focus will be uh, that that why they don't exist between those uh, energy state suppose you excite an electron it goes uh, from n it will move to n plus one okay and it doesn't move to half level or one third level of energy so what is the reason behind that so uh, today uh, our discussion will be on this thing so as we know that electrons they are uh, basically they ha they have dual nature they can exist both as a wave and a particle so it is the uh, uh, wave which can be which which can explain those sort of the concepts so uh, majority of you may know that when two uh, orbitals or lab constructively what happens their energy decreased their energy is decreased and uh, a bond is formed okay from orbital i means electrons electrons are uh, orbitals what are orbitals uh, orbitals are those places where the probability of finding electron is maximum an electron is a wave so it is a sort of two waves overlapping each other okay or interfering with each other suppose two atoms they come close together and produce and form a bond so it can uh, what will happen it will form a molecular bonding orbital this is atom suppose hydrogen and hydrogen both of them have one electron each what they they can they will produce a bond this is called as the bonding interaction and this is called as the anti bonding interaction so what actually what uh, how the bonding interaction occur so as you know that waves when two waves overlap each other what happens their amplitude is increased this this is the amplitude or you can say that their displacement from the mean point is increased okay now they have increased uh, their amplitude is increased okay or their displacement is increased so uh, what happened uh, they the molecule or the two atom combine together and get st and get stability so by taking uh, this uh, concept ahead uh, i would like to explain that why electron exist in a particular shells or orbitals and why electrons are not excited to the half level and to the full shell level or you can say uh, at the uh, at the integer level why Th that question will also be addressed so before uh, uh going to be, uh, uh, so uh, we need to understand some sort of waves which are called as the standing waves what actually are the standing waves when we understand uh, the, those standing waves then we will be able to understand the behavior of an electron because electron behave as a wave okay in an atom so what are the standing waves suppose these are two rods or any uh, fix uh, other fixed things and a string is in between it okay and you just pluck the string what will happen it will produce a wave suppose the wave move from this side to that side this is okay suppose the wave is moving in this direction suppose the wave start from here or you just uh, let me give you an other analogy if you have string and this end is fixed and the other end is fixed you have just held it tight and you just uh, sh uh, shake it like this or give it a strong strong jerk so a wave will be produced and the wave will be moving 
in this way. But let's suppose that the other uh, side of the uh, the other side uh, on the other side the string is again tied to some fixed position. What will happen? The wave will move backward. It will collide uh, with the wall and it will come on the in the opposite direction. Okay. So the wave will move in this direction. Okay. And as it collides with the fixed uh, wall, it will move back. Uh, it will be. It will move in the other direction. Now it depends if the wall is fixed. So the wave will be. Uh, the the wave the wave will come back uh, with its phase changed. Okay. Like this, you will understand it. That what phase change is. This is a displacement. Let's suppose that it is a downward. Okay. Uh, now uh, it's a downward displacement it reach here but when the wave hit this wall this displacement will be above okay it will move like this and when it uh, hit this wall again this type of the thing will be produced but this is uh, only one uh, cycle or uh, one collision when the wave moves there and the wave move from here. But in reality, what will be uh, after some time? What will happen? One wave will be moving in this direction and the other will be coming in this direction. And after some time, both the wave will be colliding with each other. Then, uh, oh, sorry, will be colliding with each other and will pass each other. But when they pass each other, if both of them are in the same phase suppose if both of them are in the same phase means that if both of them are like this even they are and both are like this the other one is uh, the other one uh, it's uh, when the crest one is coming in the crest and the other is coming in the crest it will interfere positively with e uh, each other or it will overlap each other and its amplitude will be increased okay but uh, you, we sh you should note that these waves are moving in back and forth and after some time it will reach to a position which will be a sort of a fixed. So what, uh, what are the standing waves then? As you, you might have observed that when you pluck the string of a guitar it produces a wave like this, okay, a uh, wag type of thing or you can see that the string is seem to be found everywhere and it is the reality so what will happen after some time you will see this type of a thing okay because both the waves are passing through each other and what will happen the crest will become a trough and a trough here will become a crest. So uh, in time you will be just seeing that a crest here and it will be at this only at this position it will be changed in a trough, crust, crest, trough, crust and trough. And this uh, trough it will be like trough, crest, trough, crest. So you can say that the wave will be oscillating like this okay so it will form a fixed position if you open your eyes suppose you have fast camera fast fast camera it will show you this picture and in, in the second click it will show you this click uh, this picture okay the, the uh, crest will become a trough and the trough will become a crest suppose this is one two three so in time what will happen now both end are fixed and a sort of equilibrium is reached and one will become a trough uh, uh, crest and a trough so you, you will see the waves like this okay and those will be oscillating in time so now how how, how can we relate it with the electron because electron has a dual nature and electron can behave as a wave too okay now suppose let me give you uh, an example this is not a very relevant example but it will i am sure that it will help you to somewhat understand what the concept behind the standing wave in an atom is 
Suppose a person, one, a person is revolving around a pole, okay, with the speed of light, it is not possible, it is almost impossible, each and everything will be burnt. But suppose he, a mythical creature is revolving around a pole in the speed, at a speed of light, what will happen? When his body will be moving and his probability will be everywhere from this what I mean that he can literally see his head will not be his back uh, uh, of the head or his, uh, or his back part will be moving in front of him because he will be almost catching himself okay just like he will be saying uh, seeing this uh, part of his uh, head because it will be uh, before before it moves, it he he will almost reach to his his place, okay, the back side of his body. So if he has a pen, he can when he write or uh, suppose a letter A, he may be writing actually on his back side. So this is an example, a very very crude example. And scientifically, it is not that uh, it is not almost possible, okay. So. What is now, how uh, I am going to connect it with electron. Electron moves very, very fast. Yeah, not with the speed of light, but in space. And it is a wave. Now, suppose an electron is moving just like this. Okay, it's not, literally electron is not revolving. But suppose it's revolving and it's forming a wave. Okay, now what will happen? one uh, wave will not be finished and the electron will reach to the other wave and it will start overlapping with the wave just like interfering with the wave just like uh, the standing waves when one wave is moving there the other wave is moving here so the electron when it is moving there so a crude uh, let me uh, give you another example so this wave is moving here and it will start overlapping with the wave or it will almost be catching itself okay so it will produce a standing wave so so what if it produced a standing wave like this up and down up and down yes there is a very positive thing in it and the positive thing is that that standing waves are those waves which doesn't transfer energy so what if we transfer energy and it doesn't transfer energy, what does it mean? It means that if something is not transferring energy, it will not lose energy. And if it doesn't lose energy, it will stay where it is. So the electron will be revolving or the electron will be present in a fixed orbital or energy level. When it, inter when it interfere with each other and produce a a stationary wave or a sorry a standing wave so this is the basic concept now uh, as uh, I earlier mentioned that when a bond is produced a constructive overlap will what it will stabilize the orbital or here the moment of an electron and here again when an electron is moving here this is an electron which is moving and it, it has a great speed so when it is forming a wave and it will return in the other way and it will catch its own wave and it will produce a standing wave but there is a condition it will never it will not always produce a standing wave what is the reason the reason is that that uh, there should be a fixed or some certain frequencies or wavelengths at which the electron should produce a standing waves and interfere positively with each other and to stay there forever so those are the uh, uh, orbit so the orbitals or the energy levels which the scientists have found those are the, the that are those places where the frequency of uh, where the the frequency and the wavelengths are such that that their electrons positively interfere with each other suppose in an s orbital in a p orbital in a d orbital okay uh, in a 
two p orbital in a three p orbital in a three d in a four d orbitals they exist why they exist they exist because they they have certain frequencies there and they can constructively overlap with each other therefore they can stay they they, they can revolve or you can say they can stay there as a standing electron cloud forever now what about this thing if you excite an electron from n to n plus one what happens the electrons go to another semi-stable state but what is this why it, it doesn't move to here because we have heard that it needs some quantized energy or fixed energy in for an electron need to be excited yes it needs a uh, fixed energy uh, to be excited because uh, there is again uh, one compulsion the compulsion is that it could be excited to a place where it can form at least a very very weak interfering wave with each other for at least some time extremely weak interference with the an electron should be excited when electron absorb uh, energy okay what will happen it will change its frequency okay so its frequency will be changed but to what which to what level from here to here okay because this is vacant orbital there is nothing right now and an electron moves from here to here to this here it will again overlap for some time with uh, each other uh, with uh, itself the one wave will interfere with uh, uh, itself to produce a very very weak interference and as you know that after some time the interference will disappear and it will come to its stable state and here the, ins uh, the interference is very strong and it is perpetual so here it this is the place it is just like uh, a place where um, you can consider it like a very solid place on which an electron can stand so this is the other reason so crudely this is uh, also the reason that why electron doesn't move away or doesn't fall into the nucleus it's not 100% uh, this concept but you can extrapolate this concept that why electron why electron is not falling into the nucleus so now the conclusion is that that the electrons are moving in a fixed orbitals shells and uh, because they there they produced a constructive or they interfere with each other and they have a particular frequency if their frequency is less if you decrease the frequency of that electron it will not constructively overlap and it should fall into the nucleus or uh, vice versa xyz if you increase the energy by giving it the uh, and uh, providing it uh, uh, energy from the outside what will happen it will be excited but excited to a place where it forms at least a small weak 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 interference so it lives here for a very very short period of time uh, uh, a very very small time means that uh, very small fraction of a second and it will come back to solid place not a solid place but uh, you can say a sort of solid place where the interaction is uh, where the uh, electron is interfering very positively with itself so it's the standing wave which keeps the electron in a fixed energy at fixed energy level and uh, uh, it's again the interference which uh, decides that where the electron could be excited or what are the difference between uh, what are the different energy levels okay so first shell second shell third shell those are all based on interferences that's why electrons stay there or otherwise it would have flown away or be absorbed into the nucleus or mega collision would be occur so thank you very much <laughs>